Hey guys, all right, so I want to introduce you to what I consider to be the future of artistic content creation. So I'm gonna introduce you to NVIDIA Gaugan, which is artificial intelligence or a generative adversarial network app. So to simplify that, this app allows you to place down very basic brush strokes and each brush stroke has its own unique property applied to it and you'll be able to generate a photorealistic image in a matter of seconds. So I think it's considered as photorealistic because the neural network has actually been trained on a large database of real world imagery. So whatever brush stroke you're placing down, whether it's a rock, whenever it generates it, it's going to do its best to represent that property as close as possible to that real world image. So a rock is going to look like a rock, mountains are going to look like mountains, and you'll be able to adjust and add onto this image and generate you know, variations of this image in a matter of seconds. So I think this is going to be a fantastic tool for concept artists or, you know, anyone that's photo bashing elements or they want to create a good starting point for the imagery. I think you guys are really going to find this tool extremely, extremely useful. We have to look at this with a positive mindset and embrace new technology that's been developed. I think this is really going to help you guys. And you can see over here, there's some artists that are already jumping on board and experimenting with NVIDIA Gaugan to generate some results, which which I think is really fantastic. So without talking too much about this, let's dive straight into this video tutorial or just this little overview of NVIDIA Gaugan and let me show you how this program or this app actually works. All right, so go ahead and check the description of the top comment. That's going to bring you over to the NVIDIA AI Playground. And if you scroll down, you're actually going to see Gaugan. You can read a description about the program. But I've already been talking too much. Go ahead and click on Launch Interactive Demo. And it's going to actually bring you over to the Gaugan Beta app. So let's get started. Let me show you how this works. It's a really awesome app and an awesome piece of technology. All right, so the overall interface of the UI for Gaugan is very, very simple. You can see we've got a brush size over here that we can choose to increase or decrease whenever we draw in out our brush strokes. On the left is the different smart brushes or the different properties for the brush that are basically going to be applied to our canvas. So this is going to be our basic canvas over here. And this turquoise region on the canvas right now represents the sky. And this blue region over here represents the sea. Right, so this icon over here means if you've been drawing out something and you want to clear your canvas, you'll click on that. This is obviously going to be a brush stroke and what we're going to be using to actually sketch out our elements. And then we've got a paint, a paint bucket tool. So if you've been sketching out something, so in this case, if I've been sketching out something like this, and instead of me having to fill in the whole region, I can just click on the paint bucket and fill in that entire region automatically. So I'm just gonna clear my canvas. And just to show you immediately how this works, if I actually scroll down, you have to go ahead and check this box to accept the terms and conditions to actually see an end result. But if I check that, you'll see there's an icon over here that I can click on. So as soon as I click on that, it's going to take these very basic elements and turn it into an image, guys. So that alone is completely mind blowing. So here at the bottom, we can choose to actually randomize these filter presets. So these are actually filters. So we can choose to change the time of day. Maybe I want my sky to be a lot bluer with more clouds. It gives you a general idea of what that filter looks like. But there we go. It's taking those exact same elements and applying a completely different filter with a filter to it. So this allows you to create just a bunch of different variations for your images, which I think is truly fantastic. And if you are really going for a very artistic approach, you can even mimic some of these awesome artistic filters here at the bottom. So go ahead and play around with that. You can even upload your own la landscape image. So if you've taken your own landscape photography, you can feed it into the program as well, which is obviously going to continue you know, training the program, but you also get some end results and you can play around with some filters. All right, so now that we've covered the basics, let's go ahead and actually jump into this and create our own image. And this is where your creativity is going to run wild. So right now on the left, I'm actually gonna select, uh, let's see, maybe I wanna change the C. I don't want a C to be present within my scene. I actually want this to be grass. So I'll select grass, select the paint bucket icon and just click on the C and click on this icon to generate a completely different image. All right, now I'm gonna change my filter to this filter over here. All right, and let's go ahead and select cloud and I'm gonna click on the paint brush icon. Now you can change your brush size over here. I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit. So now I can start sketching out some clouds in the sky, just with these very basic brush strokes. 
and I'm going to click on this icon and it's going to generate those clouds within our scene incredibly quickly. Now, I actually want to go ahead and create a river in our seam or a stream over here. So I'm going to select the river, select the paintbrush, and let's create a stream of water that goes diagonally across our image over here. Now, depending on how much time you actually take over here, you can make these lines look a lot more crisp and get much better results. But I'm obviously trying to show you how the program works. So I'm going to click on generate and you'll see that there's going to be a stream over here. And let's go ahead and create a rock as well. So I'm going to draw just a rock right over here. Very basic outline. Select the paint bucket and just fill it in. And let's click on generate. So there we go. We've got a rock in our scene. And you can see it even generated some rocks on the grass as well. Uh, but the crazy thing is this water over here actually has the reflection of the rock in it and even some of the grass, which I think is really, really crazy. So this neural network has gone through a lot of training. And again, I can maybe replace this entire grassy region with rocks. So on one side, it's grass. On the other side is going to be a bunch of rocks, as you can see over there. And I can maybe replace this entire stream with rocks as well. So we can completely change our scenery incredibly, incredibly quickly just by doing stuff like this. So maybe this is going to be water. Let's see, we replace all of that with water. So now we've got what looks like just this big river over here uh, with some grass on the side. And you can see the different results you can get in just a matter of seconds. So I'm actually going to maybe sketch some grass back in our scene in this region over here. Maybe there's a hilltop and this is some grass. Uh, there's going to be, I'll bring this down a little bit, maybe some rocks here, some rocks here, maybe a bigger rock over there. And you can see just how simple these shapes are and it's going to give me an end result in just a matter of seconds. So there we go, there's our hilltop, there's our rocks visible within these regions. We've got our stream of water with reflections as well. We've got clouds in the sky. And then we can see this un under different filters as well, just to see how this looks. So now we've got more of a sunset over there, just a beautiful sunset. And the fact that you can change the time of day essentially with these presets is truly, truly mind blowing. And all of the lighting and different effects are being applied to these brush strokes. So this is a fantastic piece of technology, guys. What we are witnessing here is, is really, really awesome. And I want you guys to go ahead and play around with this. Uh, obviously, this isn't going to be the best example, but I'm showing you how Gauguin works. So if you are doing landscape photography, you can truly push this a lot further than what I'm currently doing right now. Uh, go ahead and create some masterpieces over here. Maybe use it as a starting point uh, for whatever you're trying to create. And you can see while I'm talking, I can just continue editing this image and adding on to it and creating variations. And it's just, it's super, super cool. All right, so I actually view Gauguin as like a next level or futuristic Microsoft Paint tool where basically anyone can jump on board, place a bunch of brow strokes and get an end result that actually looks pretty good. Uh, but you can feed your own images into Gauguin as well. So if I click on browse, I just downloaded this image, this image from Google and this is what the original image looks like. So if I go ahead and click on upload, it's actually going to reference these different regions I recognize what mountains are supposed to be and it's going to apply these different properties to those different regions. So if I go ahead right now and click on uh, generate, all right, make sure I'm selecting that tick, bo uh, that tick box over there, click on generate and it's going to give me an end result over here. So wow, <laughs> that is crazy. It's taken these regions and we've got a completely different image right now, but it's still referencing these different regions over here. So we've got the mountains, but now the mountains are actually covered in snow. We've got all of these tall trees in the foreground over here. It referenced the clouds, but gave them a completely different shape. And this is crazy. So we can take one image and output a completely different result and see it under different filters as well, uh, which is so cool, guys. This, <laughs> this, for me personally, this is mind blowing where technology is going and we should really embrace uh, tools like this that are going to aid us with the creative process. So there we go. Just from a single image, it's giving us a different result and I'll load in this image as well, which has got 
purple trees in the distance. Let's go ahead and upload that and see how this looks. All right. I'm going to click on generate. All right. So it's still just uploaded it. Let me click on generate right now and we'll get an end result over here. So this is basically this image over here. And wow, there we go, a completely different result, but still referencing these different regions. So we've even got these red flowers over here, the reflections. This still blows my mind that this program is able to recognize reflections from these different brush strokes. So there we go, this image turned into something completely different. So if you actually referenced an image and you liked the different shapes, uh, within that image you could use that as a starting point but then modify it and create your own looking image so maybe i don't want these to be trees i want that to be rocks right so i'll just change it i want these to also be rocks and i want snow to be visible over here on this grass region now we're going to change this imagery that we created as an input and it's going to give us a different result but still referencing some of those regions so again <laughs> completely crazy what the, this program is actually capable of doing. All right, so that's gonna bring us to the end of this demonstration. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Now I want you to definitely jump on board and give this a try. Uh, this is a really awesome piece of technology and I want you to experience this. That's why I'm bringing this to the foreground and showcasing it to you. But now I do have some very important questions that I want to ask you and you can answer down in the comments below. So the first question is, do you think technology and artificial intelligence will replace artists. They took our job! They took our job! Now I'm actually going to answer this right now and my answer is no. I do not think it will replace artists because even in a case like this where we've got a program that generates imagery incredibly quickly where else you know an artist would be taking hours to paint in the different scenery I still think that if we are going to get imagery with good composition and story storytelling, we are still going to require a human touch. So technology will not be able to do everything for us. There is still going to be that human input that's going to be needed to actually create compelling images. And now the next question is, will you guys be utilizing technology like this within your workflow? And I'm going to answer that and I'm going to say absolutely 100% yes I embrace every piece of new technology that gets developed anything that can help me to create quicker and make artwork a lot easier as well is something that I'm going to utilize within my workflow so I always tend to look at stuff like this with a positive mindset because technology is always going to keep advancing you know companies are going to make these tools a lot more accessible and easier to use which is going to maybe make mundane tasks a lot quicker to do and you know, if, if a program is going to allow me to do something a lot easier and it's actually going to save me some time, then I definitely want to jump on board and start using it. All right, so go ahead, give NVIDIA Gaugan a try. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye.